I'll show you how to find a leak in your radiator. We'll hook up a bicycle pump to the radiator. You can see the radiator's leaking, so we'll just keep looking for a we hole. put more pressure on it, you can see right here is where our leak is coming from. We'll put in a little more pressure, and we can see at the highest point this is where it's coming from. The tricky part is trying to figure out how to build pressure inside the radiator. There's a kit from a funnel. It'll fit onto where the radiator cap is. We can press fit the air pump into the fitting. We'll clean everything up with rubbing alcohol. The plastic is cracked right here. You can just see the water oozing out of it. We'll drain out some of the antifreeze and then heat it up with a hot air gun to get everything nice and dry. Clean it up with some scotch spray. We'll clean it up with some rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's really clean. We'll put some JB Weld on it. Mix everything up 50 50. Apply the JB Weld to the crack. To even out the glue, we'll put a piece of plastic and just kind of smear it and make sure it's nice and even. This will make sure there's no holes in there. With the radiator patch, we'll put everything back together. We'll add the antifreeze back in and we'll burp out the air. Let's start it up and check for leaks. Here's our repair and we don't see any leaks. There's a little bit of air belching out of there. Been running the car for about 45 minutes and all the air's out. Even though the radiator is not leaking at all, I would consider this a very strong temporary fix. We'll be able to put on a new radiator, but at least it doesn't have to go on today. We can decide when we want to put it on.